One of my great passions in bonsai is garden material, garden plants, stuff that people throw out, stuff that they dig out of their gardens and throw into skips. It's the stuff I cut my teeth on 20 years ago and I've got a nursery absolutely full of it. Now, while I love to work top quality Yamadori whenever I get the opportunity, there are restraints upon that type of material because you're just trying to accentuate the magic that nature has put there. When it comes to uh, garden plants and shrubs, hedgerows and so on and so forth, that material is a blank canvas and the only limitation on it is your own creativity. This week I had a stroke of luck and stumbled across a demolition site. It was an old uh, post-war factory that was being cleared for redevelopment and all around the outside were some fantastic old shrubs and trees that we had free access to. Uh, it wasn't really possible to shoot a movie there for you, so what we've done is put together a simple slideshow uh, for all of you who have been asking for information on collecting trees. And uh, considering that by now all of this stuff would have been crushed in in a skip, we've managed to rescue some of it, it's in pots, and it will go on to make some really interesting bonsai. Digging up trees is always going to be hard work, but if you set yourself up with a few decent tools at the outset, you're going to make your life a whole lot easier. The first thing you're going to need is a pair of loppers, something like this with a nice big bite, a really thick blade, perfect for chopping through branches and thick roots. The next thing you're going to need is a pruning saw, something like this with a long thin blade, great for working in confined spaces, you can cut branches, you can cut down trunks, and also with a thin blade you can work in soil and chop through really thick roots if you need to. The last thing you're going to need is one of these. This is a grafter. It's a solid forged steel trenching spade and this one's been modified with a solid steel handle. This weighs eight, maybe nine kilos. And with its narrow blade, it's perfect for chopping, driving down under the tree and uh, cutting through roots and it'll dig through the heaviest soil. When you've got your tree loose, then you want to start to try and lever it out of the hole. Something like this is perfect, and even with my bulk, I can drive this under a tree, jump on the handle, and I have no concern that this is going to break. This has probably dug up more than a thousand trees for me. Now you can use a conventional spade, but because of the width of the blade, you're going to have a problem driving that down into the soil, where, uh, where all the roots are, and invariably when it comes to levering the tree out, you're going to have a problem, the handle's going to break wooden handles just not reliable when you come to doing this really heavy work. So if you set yourself up with some decent kit at the outset, you're going to make your life a whole lot easier and you're certainly going to improve your success rate.